little reminder here. We wanted to get all of our windows installed within this one week. Yeah, it didn't happen. <laughs> Good morning. It is so early, uh, but the early bird catches the worm. If you're new to the channel, uh, I'm Katie, and together with my husband, we just purchased this 2022 Mercedes printer van, converting it. This is week four of us converting. We have about 11 more weeks until we're hitting the road. Kind of crazy story. It doesn't matter if it's done or not, we're hitting the road with it. Hopefully we can get it as far as we can. This is part two of our window installation. After we did the rear windows, it is now time to install the crew and the sliding window right here today. Hopefully we're going to get far before it starts raining. So it's always a race against something, I feel like. Either against the sun, against always something with the weather. Um, we're gonna make the first cut now. But um, it's not as nerve-wracking anymore as it was the first time, is it? Nope. Cutting these ribs, right there, gonna pull them out because I heard that it's easier on the blade, easier to make a straighter cut. With a grinder, I know everyone says don't use a grinder, but it's gonna have trim lock and we're gonna paint over it. So if I do heat up the paint too much and damage it on the inside, it's not gonna do the outside, it'll just be an inside and hopefully it'll still be all right. After removing the support ribs, we followed the same steps as in the installation of our rear windows. Pretty much a foolproof way to get the windows installed. First we drilled holes along the interior seam, followed by some pilot holes within the template for the jigsaw blade to go through. Ooh! Careful. Before we started cutting, we placed tape along the holes forming a template. This also serves as a protection for the paint and we've repeated this step for the jigsaw as well. To do the fine cut of the rounded edges, we orientated ourselves by the interior seam. Next, we used a grinder to smooth out any sharp metal edges and painted the exposed metal with Rust-Oleum. While the paint was drying, we etched the exterior paint followed by a nice coat of single primer. All right, starting to prime. Oh my gosh, the weather did catch up with us. So we're now doing this. I'm gonna wipe it down first. Yeah, I wouldn't like to rip that off. Once we dried off the area and removed our temporary cover, we put in some trim lock and squeezed Sika Flex along our cut. Then it was time to put in our sliding window and secure it in place. Okay. 
Next, we decided to work on the bunk window. First, we created a template based of, of the inside rim of the window. Yeah, it's worked pretty good. I can step a little bit here and there, but it's pretty close. Pretty awesome. We can go back a little bit more if you want, but we're gonna slide it down a little bit to make that curve, and I don't really want to do that. I don't want to do that either. So, I think we just leave it up top. Match with this one. Once we finalized the placement of the window from the interior of the van, we drilled holes along the template. I'm gonna give you um, support. Base of the holes, we taped the exterior and prepped the edges with tape before we started cutting out the window. As always, we brought our little best friend, the grinder, into the game to smooth out any of the remaining metal. And then we simultaneously worked on the sliding window just because it was so easy and fast to install because it didn't require any template. Oh, be careful with the corner. By accident, we applied trim lock, which is actually not necessary for bunk windows. We thought about redoing it, but first got it checked out by a professional and it passed the quality control, so it stays in. Am I right? Um, excuse me, neighbor, this is not working out right now. It's like, not we're working filming, out. so. We're filming. Keep if going. you could just, like, stop with the weed whacker. Yes. Great. Exactly. Great. For the other bunk window, we followed all of the steps described above, except for applying the trim lock. The windows are in, staying in. I have mixed feelings, and I think I have my first regret. First of all, I do like the windows, um, especially the bunk sliders in the back. I like the technology of us being able to just either open the window or open the bug screen. So this is really a beautiful feature. What I do not like, however, is the size or the shape of the window. I kind of imagine them to be different. We were going back and forth about awning window or sliding window. Next time I'll probably just go ahead and take the awning window. I've read so many reviews about um, the system failing and then you cannot open the awning anymore so that would be stupid because then you literally have a shut window at all times. That's why we opted out to have a sliding window but when it rains you obviously cannot open it unless the wind is hitting one side and kind of leaving out once the other side. Look at the cutout. So this is literally the whole cutout of the window. There's no benefit of cutting this out and then having or like exposing this part of the van and then having no window there. So this is one thing that really bugs me and uh, it took me probably a week to get over this whole window issue because we got those windows in town from an van outfitter so it's not like we just got whatever was available as i said we opted out for the sliding windows because of the failing mechanism of the awning windows but i i just don't know i thought i imagined them differently looking i know we're going to frame them in but it's just like a pet peeve of mine now that it's like oh, i could have used i don't know five more inches of room or i don't know it's probably not even five inches i cannot do the whole metric system still no it's just it bugs me that it is what it is. I can show you the other window, it's uh, even worse on that side. But they're in, they're elastic, they're watertight, they're airtight, um, they're, they're great. I have 
But other than my little pet peeve about the air, other than my little pet peeve of like the space not being used, I am super happy with how they came out uh, with the placements and the installation. Well, that was it. That was our fourth week of working on the van and uh, getting it ready and onto the road. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And we'll see us in the next video next week. <laughs> see ya.